Today we're going to look at the package manager in Slitaz. Uh, it For a little distribution, it has a lot of packages available for it. Uh, and it's very simple to use. We're going to click our little menu here, go up to System Tools, and we'll go up to Package Manager right here. It'll ask for our root password, which by default is root. OK. Scanning the package database. Uh, and here we go. Now, by default, you look at all of these. It looks like everything's installed. That's because we haven't refreshed list or recharged the list. Now, uh, we're just going to click recharge here. And what this does, it's going to go and grab from the internet a list of all available packages and where they are. This is the same as if you're used to using um, something like Synaptic. It's like clicking the uh, reload button. So it grabs down that new list. and give it a second to refresh here. And uh, it gives you information down at the bottom here. Might as well talk about this right now. Packages, uh, packages statistics. We got 202 packages installed. That's on the default 30 megabytes. We have 30, uh, 202 packages installed. Uh, now that we've our list is finally updated, we have 202 installed. Zero are blocked. I'm not really sure what that means. I suppose you can block something from upgrading, maybe? Anyway, uh, it tells you that installable, we have 2,087 installable packages. So that's 2,087 programs that you can now install for this distribution. Uh, and uh, I don't know, undigested, not 100% sure what that means. Uh, mirrored, basically that's your total number of packages. We have 202 installed, 2,087 available. Those numbers combined, so total of what's on the server is 2,289. And it tells us right now that we have 16 that are ready for upgrades. Um, at this point, I'm not going to do it, just time restraints, but you can click Upgrade All, and that should uh, find those 16 packages that need to be upgraded and upgrade them. Other than that, we can scroll through our list here and find something that we want to install and at that point you can just double click it let's uh, choose something well we can just grab something from the list like Xenity we'll grab Xenity really uh, Slitaz already has a lot of dialogue uh, uh, features built into it because Xenity is a GUI dialogue uh, creator for scripts um, but just as an example I'm going to double click that and it'll ask if we want to install package download view files uh, if we click view files should give us a list. It gives a list of what files are in that package. Got some image stuff and the actual program. Uh, we'll hit X on that. Download will download the package but won't install it. Uh, if you click install package it will download and install it. So if you want to download it but don't want to install it just yet uh, that's what the download button's for. And this is checked by default, which is a good thing. Auto install all dependencies. It will find any other programs, dependencies that this program needs to run and install them as well. I will click install package and you can see it will start downloading that package. And oh, excuse me. Um, that was quick. It's downloaded it, it's installed it, and now once again we have to wait for the GUI to update its list here. This is one of the reasons I prefer, which if you watch my text-based tutorials, I find that the text-based uh, install package manager uh, goes a lot faster because you don't have to wait for this to refresh each time. Uh, but I feel that way with all distributions. I prefer using Aptitude rather than Synaptic if I'm in Debian or Ubuntu or Linux Mint. I just prefer the command line. But not everyone likes command line, so showing you how to do this here. Um, next, uh, oh, you can also search by category here if you wanted to. You click on network and we will list packages. And once again, we have to wait for it to update the GUI. And there we go, this is, we got Wireshark, which is a great program. And I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in here that's great. Um, so that's that. We're going to go to search now and we can search packages. So if I wanted to find Wireshark, I could type in something like wire 
and I can search the package and description. So it's looking at all the available packages. It's going to look for the word wire and the name of the package and in the description of the package. Give it a second here to do that and once again update the GUI. Do 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 do. Also notice that our packages are now 203 because we installed Xenity, so we have 203 installed. And we're thinking this virtual machine, I, I did make this kind of like a older machine, so it's not the fastest machine in the world. But once again, uh, if you're looking for something a little bit faster, check out my tutorials on the uh, text-based installer. So there we go. It did a, a quick search, and there's Wireshark. It also found other things wireless. Now, I'm not going to do it, but we can also search files, which will take a, a few seconds longer. But what it does is not only check the package name and the description, it looks at files. So if you have one package that actually has multiple programs in it, um, it will look through those files and find uh, the package that has that word in maybe one of the files. Um, so that's about it. I, I really haven't messed with any of this stuff, which I'll, I'll mess with and maybe give a tutorial on in the future. But that's the basis of it. All your packages listed by category or status, whether they're installed, installable, blocked, upgradable. So if you want to see all the upgradable, you can click upgradable there. Just basically things to remember when you come in here, click recharge list. That will get you the newest list so you know that you're downloading from the proper places. And then find what you want and double click on it and click install package. Uh, one thing I will mention though, because most of the time when you're working with like Synaptic or Aptitude and other distributions, if you're trying to install something and then you go and you try to install something else while that's installing, it will tell you you can't because the database is locked. Uh, Slitza won't prevent you from doing that. You can try to install two applications at the same time uh, and it won't tell you not to, but you can screw up your system by doing that. And I have, I once was trying to install five different things at once by just clicking and run install, clicking and install, clicking and install before the previous one was done. Don't do that. Install things one at a time. Uh, and so you don't screw up because sometimes packages overlap and one will overwrite another one that was, should have not been overwritten and just install one package at a time. Uh, but that's it for the GUI package manager. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I have a lot more coming in this series on Slitaz. Have a great day, and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials.